What's going on fellow anglers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Scorchin and today we have something just a little bit different than our normal progression video. This is something that I found when I joined the Twitter page. I was at work and I got a news update on the uh, current update that's going to be coming soon to Fishing Planet. If you are aware of this, then I apologize because I am a little bit behind here, but I wanted to get this out there in case some of you have been following me along with my journey on the channel so far. But without further ado, let's jump into it, shall we? Also, I wanted to let you know, just as a note, I will be leaving timestamps to each section in the video along with the link to the news posting to the form in the description of this video. Fishing Planet, as some of you may be aware of me playing and making content on, might be seeing new feature updates to the grand scheme of adding saltwater experience to the gameplay. Now I realize so far I haven't been able to catch up on that type of gameplay if you've been following along with the channel so far, but I am really excited for this update news posting that's coming soon. It definitely grabs my attention to the memories of when I would go offshore saltwater fishing. So let's just see what's on the horizons for this new update and what we have to look forward to. Reading the forum post, it appears this will be the game's very first saltwater location. I might be a little behind the curve if there was a poll on guessing of the location, but it appears to be that the new location is going to be around the small island in the southeastern East China Sea. That honestly is a different area that I was not expecting, but I am excited to see this side of the world because it definitely needed some more map locations on this side of the hemisphere, if you ask me. I personally never uh, been across the map for any saltwater fishing, nor do I know of anyone that has traveled overseas from other content creators or personal family or relatives but for me i am excited to see what this new location will look like graphically and what the game developers can make out of this new location it's definitely got the vast variety of fish species different biomes which attract specific fish to this location especially being around the area of the map closest to the pacific ocean and generally the area where you'd probably see a lot of storm generations occurring definitely fish heaven if you ask me can't wait Alright, so here's the world map. Um, I just wanted to let you know that this is where it's going to be. Uh, let's see. We're on this side of the world. Emerald Lake. Or I'm sorry, not Emerald Lake. Africa. Yeah, here we go. So it's going to be like right in this area. So this is like... Just making sure. I don't want to lose my thing. Yeah, so this is where it's going to be. So China's over here. Uh, the China Sea is right here, um, the southeastern part of it. Uh, there's like area in this sh stretch opening right here. Um, and this is probably in the area where they're going to do it. Again, it's like closest to the Pacific, which is on this side of the hemisphere. Um, and the northeast hemisphere, because this is Australia right here. Um, so it's like right in this area. So they're thinking about like right in here and you got the Philippines. I believe it's right here. It's either here or in this area. But this is like the area that they're thinking about because of the location and it's near Pacific Ocean. And it's also got many biomes of different uh, climates here. And obviously since you can see this little storm like texture that they have going on here unless that's the uh map view of like what the terrain look of the uh clouds but this is where it looks like and again this is where majority of your storms are hitting like a lot of them hit here and then they travel either this way a lot across the ocean to the u.s which is over where we are well i am i should say not we are depending on where you're watching from but yeah, so that's where they're planning on putting the uh, the lake, or I'm, I'm sorry, the saltwater experience ocean. Which, like I said, it's very far. They could have put it like 
this side of South America. Could put it in like this area up here. I, I have no idea. They could have added. I don't know what this one is. I've never been here. They could have put it like up in this area too. Maybe have even bigger monster fish. I would be surprised if they actually brought a whale into here to catch this. Whale or shark. Some big shark. I don't I really don't know if there is sharks in this game for uh catching. But it would be nice to see in, the, in like this area or somewhere else. But yeah, so this is where they're gonna plan on put it the ocean uh for saltwater experience. Uh I don't know how stretched it's gonna be, but well, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a small little section, but it's gonna have the availability to use your boat, which I don't know what structures are out here, except for this little island, maybe this little island, unless they put it over here where you can like go to like, you can like fish near different islands. That would be cool. But yeah, so that's the world map. That's where it's going to be. Uh, I'll put, also put a, um, I'll put a f actual map image to show you exactly what it looks like uh but for right now this is what it uh looks like from our map on the fishing planet game now it appears there will be a new fishing technique added to the game's mechanics section as well it may not be like the ones you're probably used to by now or if you've seen my one video on covering the different techniques it might be adding to that feature. I am unsure right now, but it looks like you may need to add pulling up to your arsenal. It looks like this will be implemented through the reeling phase from when you hook up with a fish. So this isn't something that you will require a retrieve mechanic on, which is cool because it will give you the feeling of fighting against that big fish on the end of your line. The only downside to this at the moment upon reading the forum post is that I am unaware if this will apply to all lakes and be a known mechanic for the entire game and a part of the tutorial revamp process or if this will be a part of just the new saltwater experience update. I guess we are going to have to wait and see what comes about at later dates. For now, I would actually like to see the rework in the game. So it brings that feeling of excitement when you fought the big fish of the lake slash ocean like a pro. And as you're aware, that's kind of what you intend on going fishing for, especially if you're going for keepers, uh, especially with the size regulations and things like that. But yeah, so I hope it helps bring that real world experience into the game. I mean, we already have it at a point where we have to often let fish run or tune the drag settings when you realize a monster fish is on the end of your line so far in the game. So adding this feature for every big hookup would be worth it in my books. What do you think? With the new saltwater update brings what might be something that everyone has wanted into the game that my friend is being able to fish together. Now you can already technically fish together when you're joining an open lobby on the lake and other people are already there or joining that lobby. But I am talking about enabling your friends to fish with you on the same boat. Going back to when I last looked at the posting in 2017 of the boat fishing coming to the fishing planet game. It appears as if you couldn't fish on the same boat together with friends and that meant your friend would fish on their own boat and you would fish on yours. Taking this into consideration that you both own a boat of course. Hopefully you purchased your own boat in game. So yeah it looks like everyone will be able to join you on your own boat like a charter scenario in the real world of fishing scheme. I wonder what the new boats will look like. Along the lines of fishing together with friends on the same boat, why not create and or join clubs together to host events amongst yourself? Sounds interesting, right? Well, it appears that the update might be coming to the game. The developers are working on making it feel like a community game for you and your friends or their friends to join together as a club. You will be able to create your own unique club design between what you and your fellow friends want to create. If you play MMO games like myself, I am sure you're aware of this kind of update. 
For me, I would refer to these things as guilds or clan chats. Not sure if there are any other ones, but clubs seem very fitting for Fishing Planet. The features that will be included when making a club are getting creative to make a name and logo for your club. You can join a new room called Club's Room where you gain experience like normal exchange baits, which I am not sure how that could be possible unless it's referring to ground bait or providing someone with bait that you might have unlocked or in inventory, depending on if they have it or not. I guess we'll have to find out when the time comes and be able to share fish markers amongst the club for that specific lake, which would be very beneficial because you may have caught a specific fish on the different bait that your friend didn't catch it on or different tackle and different locations. This is literally the perfect update to bring everyone together and make it feel like you're going out by yourself or with friends to go fishing. While there, you maybe meet up with random strangers and they become friends and eventually you all form a club and now you all are hosting club events and socializing together doing one thing you all have in common. Obviously you can branch out, but let's keep our minds on the topic here. I hope there will be more things that we are not seeing from this forum posting, but we will find out. Lastly, with the way the game has been going, it appears the developers are going to crack down more on the cheating that has been happening. Luckily, I haven't even figured that out yet, nor knew about it, but it's good to know they are trying their best to keep the game feeling real and authentic to what a simulator is supposed to feel like. If you are aware of any of the cheats that have been happening since I can't seem to find anything on them, let me know what those were. But let's hope none of you watching this video ever did that. Honestly, there's no need to for a fishing game. How can you cheat fishing in real life? Come on, now really think about it. Roast me all you want on that, but it's just not fun for a fishing game. Just keep sending feedback and improvements and hopefully they will get fulfilled. With that being said, I hope you found this video informational. If you are unaware of the current updates to Fishing Planet, I am definitely looking forward to grinding my way up the ladder to be able to experience this release hopefully when it comes out so I can share it with you all about it. Not to mention to follow up on this tease of a release update video to see what exactly everything will be looking and feeling like. For now, all we can do is wait and keep updated. On that note, if you liked the video, please show your appreciation by smashing the like button on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you like, feel free to subscribe to the channel for future related news updates or fishing content. Who knows, I may end up switching gears to play other games or doing IRL things in the future. Definitely excited to share those plans coming up later. Feel free to follow me on other social media apps down below. Links in the description if you want to follow me on them. If you have any type of feedback or inspiration for a future related video, feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll gladly answer your question or ideas. Also, I want to add that the channel name has been revamped. When I originally made the channel, I was trying to keep it to the content I was creating, but I found out later that um, I was able to change the name to just the first part of my name, which was Scorch and Fishing, and it wasn't taken. So if you subscribed or if you've been following along and you see a name change when you see this kind of uh, thumbnail and things like that, just know that I actually was able to change the, the idea around. I also posted it on the YouTube channel's community page. I'm also going to send it to Twitter. Uh, I've even revamped the Twitter section as well. If you're following me on Twitter, feel free to uh, just note that those changes have been applied. I'm also updating my logo. Uh, if you guys have any ideas on a new logo, um, I can share them in the Twitter posting and you guys get to decide which... Uh, we can do a poll on it, actually, of which one you prefer. I'm trying to keep it as clean and professional as possible. So just give me an update on that. Um, but yeah, this has been Scorchin, giving you your latest news update report. Have a good day, everyone, and keep fishing. See you on the next video.